What's up guys, NBA talk with the second video of the night. Like again, it's short. Um, the Cavaliers versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Go at it for the first one. Um, Cavaliers win this game 116 to 97. Uh, it was a good exchange in the first half. Um, the Bucks came out strong. They played very good defense at the beginning. In the first quarter, it looked very, very solid for them. Um, they were able to keep themselves content. Giannis, the Greek freak, he's balling this year already. He's balling. Like, it's like he is on a mission to prove himself. He's there. He's getting there, and he's very, very young. And this boy was playing lights out. He was getting to the rim pretty good. I wish he could shoot better. I mean, seriously, I wish he could shoot. Because that would be ridiculous. Because he would be like another Kevin Durant, really. He would be like a very good Kevin Durant who's more bulkier than Kevin Durant. If he can shoot, if he can learn how to shoot, oh my God, Giannis will be insane to beat is insane he played lights out he was getting to the rim there were times a lot of times lebron james did not want to guard this dude i was watching this guy from top to finish he was guarding someone else all the time well not all the time but Giannis. he there was no match real matchup between Giannis and lebron james they were doing their own thing but Giannis, he has a future the only problem is is his team. His team needs to step up. And that was that was kind of the problem here. Only a few people who actually showed up tonight. It, it was bad. The bench was not as good. Not at all. Yeah, they definitely I don't I think they're gonna definitely make the playoffs, but I don't think they're gonna go so far in the playoffs. So I think next year's offseason, they need to really think about their roster, how it's structured. They need to really do some changes right now to see, okay, what's working and what's not working? Who's doing their thing? Who, who is needed to be there and who isn't needed to be there? They have to figure that out. So, But the Cavaliers, they got themselves going. Um, not as productive uh, this this team was. There were people who showed up, and there were people who didn't show up. Like, people who were struggling, people who were thriving. So, let's just leave it as that. Uh, so, here's the Cavaliers stat line. LeBron James, who was 10 for 16, 2 out of 4 for the 3-point range, 24 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds, a block shot and a steal, 6 turnovers, which is expected. He was plus 13 when he was on the court. He was fine. He was fantastic. He he over the time, over the course of the game, he started to become more aggressive and more aggressive. Played 37 minutes. I don't understand why he's playing 37 minutes, but it is what it is. Um, Kevin Love was 17 points, 12 rebounds, six assists, two block shots. He started off pretty damn good. In the first half, he was fantastic. He slowed down a bit in the second half but he definitely showed up tonight uh, Crowder had 14 points six out of eight two two three-pointers pretty damn good four rebounds to Derrick Rose 12 points three for four from the field he, he only played for 23 minutes I wish he could have stayed in the court more but uh. um, Dwayne Wade with 26 minutes four points I like the minutes but I don't like the production that um, D-Wade gave. Like, he was struggling, especially in the first half. He was struggling. Um, I like the minutes that he's restricted to. Like, give him, like, 28 minutes or 29 minutes, like, around that range. Give some minutes to J.R. Smith, uh, which he didn't... Yeah, I... Like, it's confusing how they look because... Iman Shumpert looks like J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith looked like Dwayne Wade. So I don't know who is who. But I'm looking at the stats right now. J.R. Smith played 23 minutes. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, D. Wade, he wasn't that productive um, this game at all. 
Um, we see a whole bunch of people off the bench getting some minutes. Um, Jeff Green, 18 minutes. He dropped 10 points. Tristan Thompson played for 20 minutes, 8 points, 8 rebounds. Um, Iman Shumper played for 10 minutes. He was trash. He played some good defense, but he was trash overall. Kyle Korver played for 19 minutes, dropped 17 points. He was plus 14 on the court. Fantastic. He dropped five three-pointers. And then you have J.R. Smith, like I said, 23 minutes. Three for 11, only seven points. The team dropped 43 uh, rebounds, 25 assists, which is a much better game than last one. I think the first game with Boston, 17 turnovers, need to cut that down, but good enough. Not all the way great, but good enough. Um, Bucks, Giannis, 34 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, and only turn, 2 turnovers. Fantastic. He was 15 for 22. He was balling tonight. Unfortunately, everybody, almost everybody else sucked. Malcolm Bogdan, he played well. He dropped 16 points. He dropped four three-pointers. He was okay. He was very good. Everybody else was not that good. Snell, he started off pretty good. He dropped two three-pointers in the first half, one three-pointer in the second, and he, he, he fell off from there. Nine points. Um, Maker... They need to de really develop this dude. They got to develop this dude into something. He can't be just playing 17 minutes of what? Just standing there playing defense while everybody else coming off the bench get his minutes? I don't know. Chris Middleton, 3 out of 10, 8 points, 5 assists. You got to do better. You're practically your second. He's practically the second best player on the Bucks, And he's playing like trash, at least until Jamari Parker comes back. Um, and then off the bench, you have Henson with four points in eight minutes. Greg Monroe with 19 minutes, eight points, six rebounds. Della Dadova played 24 minutes. He was one for five, only five assists. Like, there's not enough production from all these players. Giannis is the only one really doing things. They got to develop these guys. Giannis cannot be the only one developing. They need to spend some time with these players and develop this team. They shot the three ball more, but 31% from the three point line. Well, actually that's sort of good in NBA standards, you know, maybe 35% from the three point line was pretty good. But that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of negatives in this game. Um, even though it was competitive, very competitive towards the end. Um, Cavaliers win this game. They're 2-0. and Pretty damn good. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. So peace.